It was the 23rd century, mankind's darkest hour. Heart rate and respiration. No. Life support online. Initiating cryogenic freezing. Commencing pod lockdown. Fighting for so long, no one could remember the reason why it all started in the first place. All we knew is that there were two sides, the Coalition and the Alliance. For decades, millions died for the same piece of rock again and again. Finally, one side managed to gain the upper hand, the Coalition. The Alliance launched five sleeper ships. The hope was for them to begin again far from the war and strife that had befallen Earth, to start free from the prejudices that had divided us for so long. Each sleeper ship was christened after its patron nation. The Britonia, the Rhineland, the Hispania, the Casari, the Liberty. ships broke through the coalition blockade and headed for the Sirius system. That was 800 years ago when we came here to rebuild our lives. We've come a long way since then. We have grown, we have prospered, we have flourished. But we will never forget. Hey guys, this is Freelancer, my new LP, so I'm just gonna get right into this. So I guess I should explain some things first. Down here it says I'm using uh, version 1.0 of the game here. This is not true. Um, I installed an unofficial patch of the game. It was 1.4, I believe it was a version number, but it doesn't update this. See, the thing about this game is that modding is still going on, even to this day, which is pretty incredible, considering this game came out in 2003. So yeah, that's pretty awesome, and I have i haven't changed any of the controls or anything, so I'm going to have to remember some stuff, but I knew this game pretty well, and such. Dynamic. I don't even know what these things do. Use 3D sound. What the? I don't even... Yeah, whatever. We'll just leave it on, because I don't know what it actually does. So yeah. So I'll just start this new game, and I have to warn you, the intro sequence is pretty long, so I'm just going to shut up now and wait you listen to it. Roger that. All systems show green. SA-14, you're cleared for departure. Acknowledge, 3.7. We'll see you in about two weeks. 
SA-14, we're picking up unknown contacts on long-range sensors. We're dispatching a fighter wing to escort you out of the system. Godspeed. Navy Command, this is Freeport 7. We're picking up some strange readings on the long-range sensors. No oh, snap, four missiles. Oh shit. Wow. That's a pretty big explosion for four missiles. to investigate the sudden destruction of Freeport 7. No word yet on whether it was accidental or a deliberate attack. The first handful of survivors arrived on Manhattan this morning. This is your main character? We're from medical. Is there anyone seriously injured? One. Inside. Make sure he lives. He owes me some credits. Your concern is touching. We'll do everything we can. It may take a while. Officially, the Liberty Security Force maintains there is no proof Freeport 7's destruction was deliberate. But sources inside the LSF say they suspect the dangerous criminal organization, The Order. We will keep you up to date as the story develops. Da -na -na. Yes. So, there's the intro to the game, basically. It's not actually the old intro cutscenes, but it's the first few, so. And here we got our first little tutorial thing. Yeah. Basically stuff for you to read, but all it's really telling you is you press F5 to find logs um, of objectives in player journal, and then key to read display what the hell you're doing. And F1 is the options. So yeah, look for a job in the bar. That's the first part. But first of all, I'm going to click on this, and here you can see what you're meant to do for your mission. Yes, and your main character's name is Edison Trent. Although every character in the game calls uh, him Trent, so I've never really heard Edison ever spoken in this game. Which is good, because it's kind of a stupid name, but whatever. So, the log here is a bunch of text, <clears throat> as you can see. And it... Basically, I'm not really going to stay on this, but basically he, the main character, bought a bunch of, what was it again, boron, here, a commodity, and I'll talk about commodities more in a minute, and yeah, the station he was on got blown up by something. So, yeah, I'm not going to stay here and like read all this, so I'll just close that. Other things we got here is we've got the nav map, which we we haven't like filled out at all yet. We got the objectives there. This is the New York system, and you'll find that most most uh, places in this game are named after places in real life, pretty much. There are some places that aren't, but whatever. So the only thing we've got right now is Planet Manhattan. We can see stuff they sell. Ships they sell, etc. There's all the weapons and stuff. But yeah, we'll see those later. And these little uh, lines, they'll be more important later on. And here is the universe map. So, this is one system. There's other places we can go, but we haven't seen any of them yet. And we have four of the, four of the normal places, which is Liberty, Kusari, Bretonia, and the Rhineland. Now you'll notice the Hispania is not here from the intro, and that's because they're basically situated, everyone from there, in the border worlds, which is basically round here and round here, I think. But, anyway, 
I'm just going on about nothing right now, so bar time, I guess. Actually, I'll check my inventory here. I have 500 credits, which is barely anything, and my standing with the police is friendly right now. Good, I'm not a criminal. So, to the bar! Sidewinder Fang. All we have is Liberty Ale, friend. They have Fine. one drink, yes. That makes sense for a bar. Her name's Junko Zane. She's a tough one. Oh, well, why's that? She's LSF. All business. If it's a job you're wanting, that is. On the other hand, if you're looking for something more. Well, the only thing I'm looking for right now is this drink. I know you. No. No, I don't think so. The news. I saw your face on the news. You're one of the Freeport 7 survivors, aren't you? Yeah. I heard it was pretty bad out there. You know, you're lucky to be alive. Ha. Huh. This one's on me, friend. It's the good stuff. Why? Because it's not every day a man has the chance to start again, huh? To your good fortune and liberty, sir. Well, it can't get any worse. Thanks. So, yeah, this is the bar place, but you can basically just talk to people here. You can talk. The speech bubble basically means that it's not important, it's just stuff you learn. The empty bubble means it's honestly nothing. Um, the job thing would appear as a briefcase and the bribe thing is a dollar symbol. Also there's two... there's the job board here, which I can't access yet because I don't have a ship. And the news program. All the news that's fit for you. This is the Colony News Service. Yes. Here you can see the, st the stuff about the game currently going on, which is pretty nice, but I'm not going to go too deeply into it. As you can see, Freeport 7, which you were on, was destroyed. <laughs> the death toll is 2,600, so you're pretty lucky to be alive. So yes. So I'll go and talk to someone, I guess, this guy. Liberty Police. Hello, what may I do for you? Anything for me? You're a stranger here, right? Yeah. I see. I work with the Liberty Police. This is our base. Let's have a look at your card. Fine. You're okay. Well, if you must know, I have heard a rumor. Go ahead. Fine. This is what I heard. A rumor, hmm? It may not be the best move for Liberty to send troops into Sigma. That that is one of the um, the systems, one of the border worlds, even just to guard the three four seven wreck. Despite our best intentions, not everyone believes Liberty means well, especially those who enjoy their privacy, like the zoners, blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm not gonna read this. It's basically him just talking. Every little bit helps. Thank you. Excellent. Good luck. Except it didn't help me at all. Whatever. So, next part is to simply go over here. I understand what you're saying, but I don't have nearly enough people. Junie, the environment has changed. Well, with groups like the Order taking more and more liberties, indeed now threatening our profits, some of the government feel that we need to increase our patrols in these areas. <clears throat> you, Junko Zane? Yes? I believe you have business to discuss. Wait! I will leave this matter in your capable hands. Sorry. The bartender said you work for the Liberty Security Force. And who do you work for, Mr. Uh... Trent. I work for myself. What kind of ship do you have? I lost mine. On Freeport 7. I see. Are you staying in Liberty long? I've got a friend who was injured in the attack. He's in medical. I'll be staying at least until he's released. 
Well, as it happens, I could use a good freelancer, Mr. Trent. I'll be in the equipment room later. You can meet me there. Oh, and if we are going to work together, call me Junie. Oh yeah! No. 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 Right. <laughs> God. Right, the equipment dealer is the one up here. Basically, you have the bar, the launch pad, the commodity trader, the equipment dealer, and the ship dealer. So, equipment dealer. Hello? Pleased to see you. Are you ready to work for the LSF, Mr. Trent? It's just Trent. And yeah, I'm here to see what you have to offer. Well, I found this ship for you. It's very basic and you won't have jump access yet, but it should be good enough for now. This assignment will be easy. All you have to do is babysit a convoy of food and medical supplies. You'll be hooking up with the escort CO King. I'll tell him to expect you. That is, of course, if you're interested. So yes, you can decline stuff, but the 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 missions are basically mandatory if you want to continue with them. So yeah, Michael King. Where's the commanding officer? Two thousand credits for uh, completing this. Sounds good. I'm in. Good. Better get going. I'll have your ship moved immediately. All you'll have to do is go to the landing pad and launch. King will be waiting for you near the docking ring in space, okay? I'll see you when you get back. Thanks. So yes, I have heard comparisons about this game to a Wing Commander game, which I unfortunately have not played. It's called Privateer, so I don't know if anyone knows more about that game, because I know almost nothing about the, that game, but essentially what it, it, the aspects of this game are similar to it, because this game's all very expansive. As you see, I just showed you the system map, and there was a bunch of places that you could possibly go. So yeah. And th you don't, it doesn't even show you all the places in the main storyline, which there are 13 missions of. This being the first one. Right, so we got pausing and saving, and stuff I've already went through, so. I guess I'll go through the three traders here. This is the commodity trader. Which I'm actually going to buy something of. There's a bribe there. I'll go. I'll go over that in just in a second. Right. So commodities you can sell them at different places to make a profit. There are different way places you can go, and each place sells for a different price. I know already that the place we're going to very soon will give me a profit for these, so I'm going to buy ten of them, fifty credits each. So I have zero to my name now. But I will make a profit from that, so good idea. And the bribe here, as we can see. What's up? Can I help you with something? Have anything for me? First visit, eh? Yep. Oh, well I work for Cryer Pharmaceuticals. We don't really run this place, but we have an understanding with the people who do. Let's have a look at your card. Okay, you check out. You know, your rep could use a little fixing for a small fee. Go ahead. Small fee, yes. 60,000 credits is not exactly a small fee. And it's always expensive, but obviously I don't have enough money. No way, sorry. Come back anytime, Mr. Trent. Anyway, so equipment dealer, which is basically where you get your weapons and stuff. Doop, doop, doop. Now I guess I gotta explain how the weapon system works here. See under the, the guns, I have two of them here. They're called Justice Mark 1. They're, they're, as you can see, they're class 1 guns. Now under it you can see gun slash missile class 2, which is the maximum. So I could buy a couple of these uh, lava blades, I guess. Yeah, I would probably go for lava blades. And um, yeah, I could equip them in those class 2 slots. If I had a class 3 weapon, which you can't get at this, uh, this base, or planet, I couldn't equip them, because it's too high. But I do have one slot that is 
class 3 though, so I could have put it in there. And that's basically how it works. As you can see, there's different classes. There's missile launchers, which are pretty nice. There's mines. Oh yeah, here here's the class 3 stuff. Okay, I have a... I, it shows you all the stuff you can equip up at the start, I see. We got class 3 stuff, we got class 5 stuff here, which is pretty insane. There's a total of 10 classes, so, yeah. And the real rare stuff is, like, really hard to get. You got mines and countermeasures, which stop missiles. And the things down here are turrets, which I don't have a slot for on a light fighter. And the light fighter is the ship I have now. And we also have missiles or torpedoes. Oh god, 7,000. Ugh. Wow. And mines and countermeasures. And we have a shield, and this is a pretty good one actually. These are for heavy fighters and freighters. You see the abbreviations there. And thrusters are that dictate what your top speed is. And nanobots and shield batteries I'll talk about in this while. And the ship dealer, the last one. <clears throat> the one on Manhattan, which is the planet I'm on right now, cell 3. Yes, I know objective, I'm getting to it. So this is the ship I have right now, it's a light fighter and it's the first, we uh, the first ship you get, so it's not that great. So, there's an R light fighter here, which is a uh, Alright, but it's not too great. Considering you can't, uh, you will be able to get much better ones relatively soon as well. The Star Tracker is not very good, and it's, you see it's basically the same as your other ship with a thing on the end. I, I don't even know what this is. And it's 17,000, so it's not that great. And the Rhino here is a freighter. As you can see, its cargo space is 80, so. Compared to the other stuff, it can take quite a lot of stuff around for you. So yeah, let's uh, finally get out there. This first mission is really not that tough, especially if you know what you're doing at the start. Escort convoy food, low risk, 2,000 credits. Let's go. I don't know you why must be the guns keep I'm King, disappearing. The CEO of this mission. I contacted the lead transport of the convoy. They've completed pre-launch checks and are ready to go. Should be an easy run from here to Fort Bush and then on to Pittsburgh. Ready? It's good to meet you, King. Is that a Rhineland cruiser? That's the Donau, Admiral Schultz's flagship. He's visiting Manhattan to attend a high-level meeting with President Jacoby. Keep your distance. Newark Station, this is RNC Donau, requesting clearance to dock with your station. Over. Affirmative, Donau. You are cleared for docking point six. Liberty welcomes you and Admiral Schultzke. Donau, be advised, we're picking up unknown contacts. Advise caution. Understood, Newark. All escorts, power up weapons. Affirmative, ready to engage. Roger, tracking incoming ships. Unidentified ships, this is Newark Station. You are entering restricted space. Alter course at once or we will open fire. New York, New York, oh no! We're here to protect the president. Shulsky is a traitor. Red alert. The Donau is hit. Launch all rescue and defensive units. What is happening? So yes, I already know what I'm doing. These guys won't fire back at you, so basically I'm right. I'm using the right mouse. Right, okay, he's gonna come up with this. I already knew what I'm doing, so I don't need, really need to read this. They blew up the Donau. Newark, this is LSF Patrol Gamma Six, engaging enemy. Confirmed, Gamma Six. This game doesn't actually support joysticks, which is quite controversial considering it is a space game, but I think it works we well enough. Engage the enemy. That's what I'm doing. So I'm I'm trying to keep in We need reinforcements! Interceptors are en route. The Colorado and its escort are inbound. I'm trying to keep the, um, the my bullets in the the little red crosshair there, which means they will hit. 
And I can strafe left and right and use afterburners by using tab here. But I don't really need to. That was the last one, New York. I'm also flying backwards now. <laughs> I'm negative one speed. And try to ring in stuff.